because now if the word of God says I should lift up holy hands, how is it I can lift up holy hands and then I say, Lord, prepare me to make me holy. To make me holy. <laughs> <laughs> that contradiction. It contradicts God. It contradicts the word of God. God. And you know, man of God, one thing that I've come to learn is that God values his word. Mm. He says that he's exalted his word above his name. Mm. The reason why we are aimlessly running around as believers is because we're not praying and seeing God's word. Hmm. We're seeing emotional uh, feelings that we have that make us feel close to God, but are not scriptural. That it is scripture. Does the Bible not say we live by faith, not by sight? Mm. Sure. Tell us. So now that we have seen from the scripture what the word of God says, mm. how should we communicate? You know, Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 says, that our, the communication of our faith should be effective yes. by recognizing who we have become. Yes. That's what Philemon said. Mm -hmm. In other words, as we sing, mm -hmm. as we worship, as we confess, as we speak and meditate the word of God, it must be in line with who we have become in Christ Jesus. Yes. Ah, thank you. This song should change. This song yes. should get to reflect the very nature of Christ. Yes, yes. The very nature of who we are now. Christ, Christ. in me. And since Christ is living in us, the yes. word has gone. Then mm -hmm. must come. Second Corinthians five seventeen. Yes. And so this song should change and say that you have made me. Repa storm drama a sanctuary. You have made me pure and holy, tried and true. With thanksgiving, I am a living. Oh. I will not be. It's not oh, future. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's it a is a present tense a reality. Present tense yes. reality. Yes. Yes. It is yes. now. Yes. I am a living yes. sanctuary for you. Pastor, tell me, you know, I know some people are going to be listening to us now and getting angry because they love the tune. This is something they believe for all their year and life on earth. This is what others are preaching. In fact, some pastors have led them in worship mm -hmm. singing the song. And I'm going to say, who are these three young men who are yet challenging us and creating confusion? Mm -hmm. What do you have to say to them? Well, I don't think anybody, I don't think people should get upset because we are trying to correct you, because the Bible said, the Bible said the word of God is for our correction. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He said it's for our correction. Yes. The word of God is for our correction. Mm -hmm. So if we are saying, we are not actually saying, the word of God is saying, we are mm -hmm. actually showing you what the word of God says. Yes. So when, if you are a, a Christian for 15 years and you believe these things, these kind of songs, and you sang it, you've been emotional, you cried about it, see, it's not about emotion, it's not about the tears. It's about what the word of God actually says. And so if the word of God says that he has made you holy, then accept what the word of God says and just walk accordingly. Amen. Evangelist, your final words on this issue. Well, life is easier as a believer if you live it by God's word. Wow. Hmm. God's word is double than, it, 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 it is like a double-edged sword, able to penetrate to the deeper, deeper parts of our bodies. And so if you live and abide by God's word, then you are living the very nature and life that God and Christ intended us for us to live. You will not be moving back and forth with emotions and feelings, but you will be able to reach out to the very heart of God because you'll be giving him back what he gave unto us through his word. Yeah, uh, uh, thank you. So, Apostle, I want to begin to add to what he said. Yes. You know, because these things, people should understand that our confessions rule us. Mm -hmm. The word of God says that the power of life and death is in our mouth. Mm -hmm. Why do you think you as a Christian, you mm -hmm. go through ups and downs in life? When you sing songs that contradict your nature, that contradict who you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you are trying to tell God, I want you to make me holy. When you're already holy. When you're already holy. You're asking God to make you, you what you already you. are. Answer, that is impossible. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. Completely. God cannot answer a prayer like that. You know, I told people, I said, there are prayers God cannot answer. Yeah. Wow. If, and a prayer like this, whether it's in the form of a song or it's just a text or a version of expressive words, God cannot answer it because he already answered it. Yes. He answered it already. Yes. And so, saints of God, wherever you mm -hmm. are in the world, are you a worship leader? Are you a pastor? Mm -hmm. Are you a new born again Christian? Wherever you are, listen, this is a very simple issue. The word of God exhorts us mm -hmm. to live according to the word of God. Mm -hmm. That our confession must align with the scripture. Mm -hmm. And so I adjure you today. From today, based on the word of God, go study it for yourself. Look at the scriptures we have referred to. Study it for yourself and make the decision to change your life 
today, forever. Yeah? And I will lead you in that song wherever you are as you improve it, as you change yourself to align with the word of God even better than you used to, be, used to do before. So let me take the words of Evangelist as, he, as she guides us into the light of the word of God on this matter. Lord, you have made me a sanctuary, pure and holy, I'm tried and true. With thanksgiving, I am a living sanctuary for you. Remember, you have been made a sanctuary. You already are a sanctuary. You are holy. You are pure. You are sanctified. You are the righteousness of God. You are not going to be. You already are. Go and live and enjoy your life with the freedom that the Word of God gives. In Jesus' name, amen.